For all the atoms. What's wrong, Mr. Albright? Oh, people need to understand that water is not an infinite resource. We need to use it consciously. Or it could run out. Without water, life as we know it could disappear completely. That's so true. In some places around the world, it's already getting really hard to find water, like in some cities in India and Mexico. With climate change and increasing water consumption, the situation could get very complicated. Did you know that a 15-minute shower can use up to 135 liters of water? Yes, but do you think everyone else knows that? What could we do? Aha, that's it. Let's create a video about this topic to share with everyone in Remarkable City. We need to raise awareness. Great idea, Mr. Albright. And what will the title of the video be? Hmm. The title will be The Conscious Use of Water. It all starts with collecting water from sources and reservoirs. This is where the water we consume comes from. These bodies of water are replenished by rainwater. But in recent years, the volume of rain has decreased. As a result, these reservoirs have less and less water. Moreover, we have another problem. Many people throw trash and untreated sewage into these places, contaminating the water. This further reduces the amount of potable water available, affecting the living beings that live there, which is terrible. And let's not forget that this water besides being taken from the natural environment and treated for our consumption, is also used to water the crops that produce our food. Imagine if the water gets contaminated. It could cause serious diseases. What a danger! Speaking of watering plants, did you know that agriculture is the activity that consumes the most water in the world? Billions of liters of water per day. After agriculture, the biggest water consumers are industry and domestic use. The good thing is that there's still time to change this situation. Each of these sectors can do their part to preserve the planet's water. Exactly. In agriculture, using techniques like drip irrigation for watering crops and storing rainwater in cisterns can help a lot to reduce consumption. And industries can also help. During the production of goods, companies use a lot of water to dissolve substances. Water is also essential for washing and for cooling, but it is possible to work more sustainably. Do you remember recycling? Recycling consumes way less water and natural resources than making a product from scratch. And it helps the planet by reducing the amount of waste. You're right, M1K3. Now let's focus on domestic consumption. That is, the water we use at home. Each Brazilian uses more than 100 liters of water a day. Now imagine a population of 200 million people using water without conserving it. That's almost 10,000 full swimming pools. And that's just in Brazil. 
It takes a lot of water for all these people. Fortunately, some simple actions can reduce this consumption. Right, Mr. Albright? That's right. Everyone can contribute by doing their part to preserve this essential resource. Like taking shorter showers, turning off the tap while brushing your teeth, washing the yard with a bucket instead of a hose, collecting a good amount of clothes to wash at once, reusing water from the washing machine to clean the house, Fixing leaks. And you can do all this without much effort. So everyone can start today. Oh, and please don't think that all this is too little. Imagine your entire neighborhood using water consciously. Then the whole city, and then the entire country. Just imagine how much water could be saved to ensure this resource for future generations. Now you know what to do. Let's work together to protect water because it's very precious. I'm counting on you. Bye.